the pin guide and the fixation base. The pin guide delivers the fixation base. The fixation base is the metal apparatus that is used for many functions, which we will explain. The pin guide is tried in to make sure that it has no rock, that it fits on the teeth, or if it's edentulous, fits on the edentulous ridge exactly as the denture. Then it is removed. It is then assembled to the fixation base using the chrome locks. One, two, three. They are attached outside the mouth and then they are clipped together with the chrome locks and then they are delivered. The pin guide delivers the fixation base. While the two are seated on the teeth, the doctor will drill through the site here using our special step down drills. We'll drill transcortical. The step is just the last four millimeters of the drill so that the pin which is also transcortical, will connect with the transcortical bone and be tapped in with a mallet. So the pin guide delivers a fixation base, drill one at a time until all the sites are drilled, place one pin at a time, tap them in with a mallet, and then proceed with the surgery. The pin guide is then removed from the fixation base. And in this particular form, of chrome, all the bone and teeth above the fixation base are reduced. The osteotomy guide, for starters, is for creating the osteotomies for drilling the sites. It is made of chrome cobalt, just like the fixation base. It is custom made for uh, many different guided kits. Uh, it, you'll find that when they're just round with no geometry or nubs, that they're for straight implants. And when they have a geometry, like these little nubs here, you can see on the buccal and the lingual, facial and lingual, uh, that that is an indication for uh, rotating the, the tool so it lines up with the hub or the driver of the implant. Uh, this comes in different configurations, sometimes based on the software, sometimes based on the guided kit, and this is always advancing um, and, and changing, and it will always indicate uh, how to stop rotating the implant. The osteotomy guide is also connected to the fixation base via the chrome locks, and they are designed for both fully guided and partially guided systems. One of the key features of Chrome Guided Smile is a dual pickup process. The carrier guide supports the long-term prosthetic. It also supports the duplicate monochromatic rapid appliance. The rapid appliance seats on the carrier guide and you will perform a second pickup just like with the prosthetic. This carrier guide, this rapid appliance will be held at the office until the time of conversion to final. It is already indexed to the implants. It can simply be relined with impression material, equilibrated for bite, sent to the laboratory with a bite registration and an opposing model, and we can make a prototype to a final or in some cases go directly to final. One other uh, option is to, at the time of conversion, send the patient home in the rapid appliance, touch up the occlusion, make it look a little bit prettier and polished, and send this long-term prosthetic to the laboratory with a bite and an opposing because the occlusion has already been worked out. Just simply do a wash impression or take a digital or analog impression of the ridge to show us the MUAs in the tissue and we can make you a prototype for final. The rapid appliance. Over the years, we developed a special fixation kit. This is used to connect the fixation base to the bone. The reason it's unique is because it's a step-down system, which is advantageous, especially in the maxilla. The drills and the pins are coordinated for length, and the idea is that the drill goes 
and enters the cortical plate, but it does it in a step down position. So the last four millimeters of the drill are step and they coordinate with the taper pin on the, on the drill. So we have both long, put these in the right place. These are long that are white. You see they're a little bit taller. And we have short that are green. The long and short are decided either during the online meeting or after the online meeting. But in order to complete a guided smile case, you will need the special fixation kit. Each case will come with six blue plugs and six green gaskets. The plugs are used to plug into the temporary cylinder to block it out so you don't get material down inside the temporary, temporary cylinder. And the green gaskets will sleeve over the temporary cylinder to protect the MUA and anything below the carrier guide. So it's double protection, a sleeve for underneath and a plug for the top when you backfill the hole around the temporary cylinder.